Employee Performance Evaluation Site 88 Department Calamity Prevention Employee Name Jerome Jameson, Ph.D. Clearance Level Level 2 Evaluation Period from 2017 to 2018 Quality of Work Meets Expectations Dr. Jameson's work meets the minimum expectations of his supervisors. It is, however, far below that which we believe his potential to be. Dr. Jameson's quality of work is decreased in each evaluation following his first year of employment. We would like to see this improve over the following year. Quantity of work. Needs improvement. While Dr. Jameson's work quantity is in need of improvement, we believe this is mostly due to his issues with attendance. Solutions to this problem likely lie in reducing his attendance issues. Attendance. Unsatisfactory. Dr. Jameson is habitually late. In the past year, he has taken a total of 12 unscheduled sick days. Dr. Jameson does not appear to remain focused on his tasks. His supervisor has issued a discipline report indicating that Dr. Jameson was intoxicated while on the job at least once. Intoxication at work is unacceptable behavior and improvement in this area must be achieved in the following year. Working Relationships Needs Improvement Dr. Jameson's relationship with his supervisor, Dr. Kirkland, is poor. On several occasions, Dr. Kirkland's leadership style and methods have been questioned openly by Dr. Jameson. Co-workers in Dr. Jameson's department have, on multiple occasions, asked to be reassigned to work on projects not involving Dr. Jameson. Supervisory skills meets expectations. Not applicable. While Dr. Jameson was promoted in his second year to a supervisory role, he has since been demoted. Reviewer Comments since Dr. Jameson's assignment to the Calamity Prevention Department, his quality of work has gone down substantially. I strongly believe his alcohol dependence is a serious threat to his well-being and his ability to retain a security clearance. While the events of January 2016 hit everyone in the Calamity Department hard, I also understand Dr. Jameson's higher sensitivity to the event itself given his personal role in preventing the XK class event. His heroics then, however, do not excuse his behavior now. I've afforded him a single chance to correct this behavior, and he is under supervisory probation until his next employee evaluation in a year's time. Any violations will result in immediate termination from Foundation employment. Reviewer's name, Kevin Kirkland, Ph.D. Reviewer's title, Director of Site 88 Calamity Prevention. Dr. Jameson looked around nervously at the guards to his left and right. They began escorting him from Dr. Kirkland's office as soon as he signed the evaluation form. Former friends averted their eyes as he passed them in the hallway. He heard what happened to fuck-ups like him. Termination. And it had said it clearly at the bottom of the form. But it said he had one more chance. Was that a lie? Was he being walked out the door to get amnesticized to a, to a dark floor he'd never seen before and that he'd never come back from? After a few minutes, he met Dr. Kirkland again at a nondescript door one level down. Kirkland was smiling. The prick. Jerome, believe it or not, I still think you got a lot to contribute to the Foundation. You're just a little lost. You're gonna attend a department meeting on the other side of this door. Everything you see in here and here is classified. Dr. Jameson shook his head. I don't understand. I thought you were thinking of pulling my clearance. Dr. Kirkland nodded. We are. Until then, though, you still got it. I think you should sit in on this department meeting and decide if you'd like to transfer or not. Dr. Jameson didn't know what to say, so he just nodded and reached for the doorknob. He half expected a firing squad on the other side, but as the door opened, he realized it was actually much worse than that. The meeting was already underway, and the smell of stale coffee and donuts filled Dr. Jameson's nose. A man that Dr. Jameson recognized very well stood at the front of the room, behind a podium, and began to speak. My name is Dr. Jeremiah Sumerian, and I'm an alcoholic. 